I have some dolls that are similar and they all have something that I find similar. So if you guys want to see what I'm talking about, then just stay tuned. channel before. I have three dolls in particular that I want us to go ahead and dive down close and see the similarities between them and you guys tell me do you see it? That's the whole point of this video is do you guys see it too? We're gonna find that out but before we do, before we find out exactly who I'm talking about which maybe you guys already kind of have an idea is make sure you guys stay tuned to Saturday we will be going live 5 30 p.m. Central for all of my cloud insiders and 6 o'clock p.m. Central for everyone else and also you guys make sure you stay tuned to tomorrow's video because I am going to be picking one of your themes to recreate Maddie Monday so this week's Maddie Monday is going to be on a Tuesday yeah, the usual day that it's already over day. That's right. So we got that coming up this week, you guys. And also for any of you that is interested, because maybe you guys are curious what's happening with Agent Rebecca and Agent Geo and Agent Jason. Well, they're going to figure it out this week. So make sure you guys stay tuned to that for this week to find out the part two of the time traveling to find out what happens. And also, before we dive down close, um, I also wanted to remind you guys that we are in the process of trying to get to our 1,500 subscriber giveaway. That's right, you guys. When we hit 1,500 subscribers, we are going to have 14 winners. That's right, 1,500 subscribers equals 14 winners. Have I told you guys that before? I think I have, but I just wanted to remind you guys. So, this that I'm holding is a Jeremiah. And he is my Pickles replica, and he was a gift sent to me from Barbie, my dear sweet sister Barbie. I love Jeremiah, and I love my Pickles sculpt. He is painted hair, and like I said, he's a replica. He came to me in a kit that I put together. Then the next doll that I'm going to want to compare that we're going to change is actually Dylan. And Dylan was a gift to me from Nanny. And she ordered him. He is the Peaches replica. And he is from T Moo. And then the third doll in this lineup that we are going to change and compare is Hazel. And Hazel is my queen bee. I don't know where she is from, but she is my Bella's baby. That's right, you guys. So she is actually coming to me from Bella. Now, between all three of these sculpts, there is something so similar to me about them that when I first got Hazel, I thought she was a peach, uh, not a peaches, a pickles. And I thought, I mean, there are similarities. So I thought, like I said, we're going to dive down close. We're going to take a look at all three of them as we change them. And then you guys tell me at the end of the video in the comments below, do you see the similarities in them or is it just something I see? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and dive down close and take a look at them. All right, you guys. So the first one that we're going to take a look at is Hazel. And Hazel is the Queen Bee Sculpt. And while she almost looks like she has the duck lips, she does have the chunky cheeks, and there's just something about her, her coloring that just reminds me a lot of the pickles. But let me go ahead and get her changed. And so we can see her a little bit more and then we'll get the we'll start doing the voice so with hazel here i am just i'm actually going to change all three of them into just some cute little onesies um i'm not going to get them dressed up in like 
uh, big outfits or anything. I figured just some little onesies. It's hot here in Texas. So they're not going to be cold or anything. Right, sweet girl. Oh, my little Hazel. Anyway, so I just wanted to put them in some cute onesies because I also figured it would not make this video like a terribly long since I'm actually changing three babies. And we got Hazel's little lovey here. She likes to keep her little lovey. So let me see fist wise i think she's going to resemble more like dylan because dylan has also got closed hands but we're going to compare in a minute all right so i'm just going to put hazel in this cute little purple onesie with the flowers it's purple it's got some pink yellow and white flowers on it and so that's what she's going to go in my sweet little hazel baby how many of you have a uh, queen bee in your collection um, I actually love her she became one of my favorite um, sculpts it goes Maddie Charlotte and then my Queen Bee I love the pickles too it's hard you guys do you guys do that too you float between your babies you're like oh my god I love this baby and then another one because then you're like oh my god I love this baby do you guys do that <laughs> I love all my babies I do I just go through phases where maybe I like to hold maybe hazel a little bit more than maybe some of my other ones or vice versa so i think that's the way i am and then i did have her some little sockies picked out i just have to locate them and if i can't locate them then hazel will not have socks on right at this moment in time and she will get them on later and i cannot just off the top locate them so who knows we know how rebecca does so she's just going to be barefoot. That's okay. That's okay, Hazel. She loves her little feet. I just love the queen bee, you guys. And I just do. And let me put her in this big purple oversized bow, you guys. So you guys can see. And that way you guys can also kind of see her in just a onesie. So there is Hazel. Let me attach her little... If I come across her socks, we're going to put her socks on. If I can't, then I'll have to locate them maybe after the video. But there's her little baby. So I'm going to go ahead and lay Hazel right here to the side. And we're going to go ahead and go with Dylan next. And here is Dylan. And now we're going to go ahead and bring the two of them up like this. So the first thing I noticed, the similarities to me is... The queen bee does have closed fists and well the pea i'm sorry you guys might hear my stomach grumbling i'm sorry we just got back in town not that long ago i'm sorry you guys if you heard it it's my tummy grumbling i'm hungry anyway um and dylan has closed fists face wise i don't think hazel and dylan match that much mostly with them it's just their hands and their chubby cheeks and the coloring they look the same coloring wise. So let me set Hazel to the side back with her lovey because we will be comparing them. And let me go ahead and change Dylan. How many of you have a peaches in your collection? Um, I love the peaches. I am not going to um, lie about the peaches sculpt though. Um, I love the peaches as far as his chunky little cheeks and all of that good stuff, but he is not up there with one of my favorites, you guys, only because to me, he doesn't really have, I don't know, I don't know what it is about the peaches that looks a little off to me. He just looks a little off, and it may just be the fact that maybe he's um, a replica or something. I'm not sure, but I love him. I love him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chunky little face, chunky little body. Just love, love, love this little guy. But out of the three that we are comparing, this one would be my least favorite, would be the peaches. So I'm just going to put Dylan in this cute little green um, dinosaur onesie. And here him goes. And that way him gets changed and you guys get to see him a little bit more better not in so much clothes before he gets all him clothes on so he's gonna put him in a cute little onesie
all right I do have a white onesie on underneath him here is Dylan so far hey hi Dylan he's a sleepy boy him's always a sleepy boy my boys are sleepy boys there him goes here's him binky back in and I was gonna put these brown little socks on him um, just to put some sockies on his feet. I did have some for Hazel too, you guys, and I lost them. Because we know how Rebecca does. Yes, and Rebecca can't even put a sock on right today, you guys. Anyway, I just gotta put some little sockies on him, feetsies. They're a little big. They are a little big, but that's okay. That's okay, Dylan. That's okay. All right, you guys, we are finished with Dylan. So now I'm gonna set. Dylan over. I'm going to set Hazel up a little bit. I'm going to set Dylan up and let's go ahead and move on to a Jeremiah. Dylan, a little bit more. And let's go ahead and move on to Jeremiah. And Jeremiah is the pickles. Now to me, he resembles Hazel the most. Let me do that and let me put them both up on my arm. Because to me, these two could pass as brother and sister. Like maybe an older brother and a baby sister, um, maybe something like that in the same family because the duck lips, the noses are almost similar. Not as much chubby cheeks, but they look like they could literally be uh, related. You know, that's, that's the way that I think of with the pickles and the queen bee. They look the most closest to me is these two. And so let's go ahead and get this one changed and then we could set that to the side and here him goes let me take off him purple socks that way you guys can see him I hope you guys can see him I'm not sure where the camera but I'm hoping you guys can see him and all him little glory isn't he adorable you guys I didn't know how cute the pe the pickles was until I got him. I did see Bella over there on Cherubs and Bubs, you guys. Her pickles is adorable. She's got twins. And so I was like, oh my God, the pickle is so adorable. And uh, when I got him, I was like, oh my God, the pickles is so adorable. Yes. Okay. So we're going to put, let me switch him around. We're going to put Jeremiah in some baby shark. He He's going to have a baby shark day today. And so get him and him little onesie and that way all three of my babies are changed into onesies all right all right I have been wanting to put this on a baby um, I believe I got I got this outfit in a happy but I'm not gonna name a name because if I get the name wrong then it I, I just, I, I, yeah, so we're just going to leave it at that, but you who sent me this knows, and thank you, I love baby sharks, it's one of my favorite things with my grandkids, baby sharks, so I love this, I want to put this on Jeremiah, and then we're going to just go ahead and put him in some white socks, and so there you go, what do you guys think, not so much size wise, they don't compete, compare Jeremiah is definitely a bigger boy he reminds me more of a long and not even as big as Jasper Jasper's even bigger than he is believe it or not my Joseph three months asleep but um, he is a bigger boy than the rest of them but I don't know I just I see similarities let me prop her up like that so you guys can maybe see her anyway and then we'll put Dylan like that Anyway, you guys, I see similarities between all three of these babies. What do you guys think? Do you guys see similarities between all three of them? Comment below. And, well, I think that's going to do it for us today, guys. If you like this video, then go on down there and give us that big thumbs up. And, well, while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. And me and all of my cloud kids we just really love you guys so until the next video everybody bye let me tell you about